So as you can tell from the title, we're going to be making this guy a brand new brother. Let's make a copper surfboard. Now I've already got the board cut on the CNC machine, so let's hop straight into shaping. And there she is, all shaped. So we're gonna throw some finbox in this quickly and then we should be on to the copper. Oh, it's copper time. So the copper we're gonna be using is from a company called Barnabas Gold. Now I found these guys when I did the original gold board. And they actually got back in contact with us last year and they're interested in doing a collaboration and potentially funding the next board which we're gonna do, which is probably gonna be a silver board. It's all genuine, all certificated, pure, real metals. So good company, I highly recommend it. You can get these on Amazon um, or from their website. So yeah, let's get on to making this thing. Okay, so this is the setup. I've got the board there, then I've got this little blank that I've just chucked on the stands there to give me a bit of a work surface. I'm gonna lay out all the copper and get make it all nice and ready so it's gonna be easy as possible to just slap it on. Now I did this last time as well, but even still, it's such a pain. I think the last one, it took me about three or four hours just to lay down all the gold. I think these are slightly bigger sheets, so it might be a little bit quicker. Hopefully I can prepare it better and I'll be able to get it done quicker and it should be a little bit easier. Famous last words. Now I'm not actually gonna film putting the copper on the board because it's just too stressful as it is. I'd rather not have to keep worrying about a camera that times off every 10 minutes. So, it's all just do a bit of a jump cut here to when the copper is on the board. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll do a little transition. I feel like I should probably say something epic for the transition, but I don't, can't really think about it, so I'm just gonna do a little, whoo, 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 look at this thing. Look at this, how sick this is. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so happy I how this one came out. I cried a little bit again, but this time it's halfway through and not the end, so that's good. Is it? Progress. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, but I can finally come back to working on this bad boy. So I've done a bit of prep work. I don't know whether you can see. Hopefully not. This is secret. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the secret. Okay, right, so what I've done is you can't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. I've sanded the lap line, and what this does is fiberglass is naturally bumpy. So you sand it down nice and flat, you can put the tape on top of the flat surface and it stops any bleeds going underneath the tape line. So you end up with a really crisp line all the way through. Top secret to doing good cut laps. Shh. Don't tell anyone, I didn't hear it from me. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant because we're doing carbon and carbon is a lot more difficult. First, what we've got to do is mark up the cut lap. Shout out to this thing, it's an electric pair of scissors. I've used this about four times. I've so buzzed over it, it's so good. Look how easy it just cuts through carbon. I don't know how well you can see, but how even and clean this is. Literally run it on the board, dude. I have to walk around the board and it's done. It's so good. You need one of these things. If you're making surfboards, highly recommend it. This one's like 20 quid on Amazon. A good pair of scissors is like 15 quid. Definitely worth the investment. thing looks beautiful. It's all dried now, so we're gonna flip it over and cut the laps. Really hoping for a nice clean cut lap. Don't wanna put a pin line if I can help it. Fresh blade and a standing knife and, a, and away we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a pin line. Yeah, this cut lap has gone terribly. Literally all round, it's just not good. There's a couple little good places, but for the most part, so bad, so much wrong. I think because I'm sort of doing this on the side, like doing it in overtime. So it's actually been a couple of days since I did the carbon. I think that's just allowed it to go off and get really brittle. It's frustrating, but still, a copper surfboard, mate. A copper surfboard. That's... I have an idea. BRB. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
So this is a continuity tester. It's got a couple of little probes. You touch them together and you get a little beep. So it's used in electrical work to tell if cables are continuous and to measure resistance. So we are going to jab this in one end, jab this in the other and see if our board has continuity, which would be so cool. Uh, I'd nerd out. Ah, oh, I'd f I can find out how many ohms my board has. Oh my goodness, then I could do some like calculations and find out how much current it could take. I'm nerding out so hard. Right, let's jab these probes in and see what happens. Test it, you gotta test it, prove it, test it. So you do something like that. Anyway, all right, there's me hole there. And okay, there's me hole there. Wait. That's the same! My board is continuity, are you kidding me? That's awesome, that's so cool. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Right, I'm gonna take this into a sand debate, finish up the loads of tail, and get this thing ready. Let's go, I'm fired up, that was so fun. So fast forward a few days, I've thrown on a couple of sand coats, whipped in a little leash plug, and now it's ready for its first sand. So this first sand is just gonna be really rough, get it nice and flat, and get it ready for a gloss coat. She's all sanded. So now what we've got to do, pin line, logos, then it's ready for a gloss. Look at this thing. Oh my God. I am so happy. Look at this. Uh, have you seen this? Look at it. So once this goes off, flip it over. We're gonna do the bottom. And it's ready for a final sand and polish. Oh, dude, I can't wait. <laughs> yes, please, look at this. Okay, this is it, we're on the last leg. Just gotta finish up doing a final sand and a polish. So I think I'm just gonna grind this out and I shall see you when it's done. And here she is, all finished. Dude, I'm in love with this thing. I was originally planning on making this one to surf, uh, just to see how it hold up. But I don't want to, I don't want to, look at it. And these two side by side, are you kidding me? 24 karat gold and copper. I've had so much fun making this surfboard. Like recently, I've just been obsessing over customer work and taking the time out and making this board has helped to remind me of how much I love making surfboards. And I just want to say thank you to anyone that's supported us over the last three years, even if it's buying a bar of wax, bringing in digging repairs, or even buying a board. I'm truly grateful and so thankful. Without you guys, this board wouldn't even exist. None of these boards would have existed. I couldn't have done it without you, and for that, thank you.